Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. It is December 28th, 2015, right after Christmas here. We're at the Sherwin-Williams Manufacturing Plant on Sand Lake Road here by the Florida Mall. And this is their mechanic shop here. And they have it all cleaned out for us. And we're gonna epoxy coat this floor here. So what we're doing, there's a, there's a couple different layers of paint on this floor. They have a, uh, like an oil-based industrial enamel and they also have, you know, a two-part solvent-based uh, Armor Seal 1000 high solids epoxy on this floor as well. There's no clear coat on this floor. So what we're doing here in order to get, you know, proper adhesion for our uh, newly applied epoxy over this floor here, we're using a, uh, a Dybal brush machine. Uh, we don't have to go super sophisticated with, uh, you know, floor grinders, like major floor grinders or, um, or shop blast machines or anything like that. We just need to abrade the surface real well and then we'll bring in the pressure washers and floor scrubbers and we'll get this floor super, super clean and let it dry out all day today, all night tonight. Come back here in the morning and we're gonna actually apply a two-part solvent-based, um, or actually it's a two-part epoxy primer we're gonna be using on this floor. So we're gonna use a two-part epoxy primer, primer this entire floor first. And then we'll come back right after that and we'll apply the two-part solvent-based Armor Seal 1000 High Solids epoxy to this floor. Um, I'm a firm believer in applying a, a protective industrial strength protective clear coat over all epoxy floors, but in this case, they don't want to. They don't want to take any chances whatsoever of anybody slipping and falling. Uh, even when you use, um, you know, a non-skid additive to these products, you know, somebody, you know, there's a bunch of guys in here working. If somebody spilled a Coke on the floor or water on the floor, you know, it still becomes slippery enough to where someone could fall and hurt themselves. So it's just easier for Sherwin-Williams to, to pay us to do these floors in this place, in this plant, and ensure that it's safe for all their employees to walk on without getting you know, anybody slipping and falling. And when the floors start looking bad, just redo the same thing over again. I mean, you could add these protective clear coats to these epoxy floors and they'll last a long, 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 long time. But when you have you know, a plant like this with you know, tons and tons of employees, you can't take any chances of anybody slipping and falling and getting hurt. It's a lot easier and a lot cheaper for them to just recoat the floors when they need it versus paying out a huge lawsuit. So, they're not really necessarily trying to see how pretty they can make their floors look. They just want to make them look presentable and, and safe to walk on. They're not looking for showroom floor stuff here. So, but again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. Just wanted to show you. Uh, what this floor looks like. You can see all this peel and paint on this floor here. And as I said, there's two different, uh, there's two different products on this floor at least. And they're pretty much, you know, not jiving with one another and you're getting a lot of delamination. So the only thing we can do now is just really abrade the surface real well, scuff it up. You can see how it's scuffing it up real well. And then we'll get it all cleaned out and make sure it's all debris free. Then we'll um, add our two-part epoxy primer. And the two-part epoxy primer, generally, when you watch my videos, you generally think, you know, we're doing an industrial project where we're recoating, uh, you know, either metal tanks, metal silos, um, just steel structures and stuff like that. But in fact, you can use the two-part epoxy primer on, on a concrete substrate as well. A lot of people don't really realize that or 
a lot of painters don't really realize that, but this is kind of what we specialize in. So we've seen it, you know, and it's not just something that you're learning out of a book or you heard somebody say before. I've been, I've been doing it for, you know, over 25 years. So I kind of know what, how things hold up and what products work, what products don't work. Because a lot of times you can go to paint stores or, you know, big box, you know, hardware stores and they'll tell you, some guy behind the counter tells you what works. He's never painted anything in his entire lifetime, but he's going to tell you what works. Because he uh, went to like a one week class or something like that and then now he uh, thinks he knows what products work. But if you haven't been out in the field and have painted hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things, how do you know what holds up? So. We've tested all these products and there's years and years and years of experience of knowing what products to use and what products actually hold up in what conditions and in, in what particular environments, what holds up. I know what some book says, but that's, that's really not ever the case. Either you've been through it or you haven't been through it. So we just like to use super, super, super durable products that really hold up. That's just kind of our thing. I don't want people calling me back upset when something doesn't hold up when they spent their hard-earned money trusting in their contractor. So, but at any rate, I'll, I just want to take a before picture so you can see what this floor looks like, and I'll make a I'll make another video when we're done so you see the dramatic change. The floor's got a lot of divots in it and. Tons and tons and tons of imperfections in this substrate. But we're not here to smooth out the floor or anything like that. We're going to use a you know a high build primer along with a high build epoxy. It'll smooth this floor out a lot more than what it is right now. But this floor is you know 60, 50, 60 years old probably, 50 years old. So it's and it's a mechanic shop, so it's taken its uh, share of abuse through the years. But it'll look good when we're done. We'll put the safety yellow stripe back in place, as you see. We'll put those all back in place. It'll look like a brand new floor for them. So, again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. Hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and have a safe New Year. Thank you very much.